Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the first lesson of the Campbell Center's Art Academy. Uh, today, of course, as usual, my name is Rochelle Cabra. Uh, today, we're going to learn about a little bit more of the basics of uh, art and what art supplies we're going to be continuing. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a collection of all the artwork that you could find in your house, what you could even buy that's even less than a dollar. We're going to learn about the color wheel today. So the color wheel is basically a little bit of a tool that most artists use to create artwork, you know, whether it's painting oil, whether it's painting watercolor or acrylic, or even in general where we used to wear for clothing or makeup or anything basically. So the color wheel has been used for so many years and centuries to help artists learn how to compare and contrast with colors. The majority of packs that you guys buy, for example, colors, or crayons or even watercolor should have the three primary colors. So what is the three primaries? The three primaries are pretty much uh, like blue, yellow, and red. And there is also two other colors that is like black and white. Black and white is normally one of those colors that are pretty much the sharpest colors that can be mixed to make things darker and make things to go light. So I have here just like these $1 color pencils and these are pretty much have like an 18 pack normally Crayota brand has a majority of a lot of colors even if you buy a 48 pack they're gonna have lots and lots of colors if you have like something like this pretty much sure they're gonna have the three primaries um, Another one that I use of course is markers uh, these are also one dollar you can buy at your local Dollar Tree 99 cent store pretty much a lot of these have the two-in-one color um, markers and pretty much they have like even the black and white and gray um, not necessarily white because of course markers they don't really have white color but mostly gray and black uh, this one as usual this is one of the best mark uh, brands this is one I got at little Tokyo in LA again less than a dollar or even three dollars max Really, really cheap. This is one of the best watercolor um, that you could buy. And all you need is a little bit of water and get the best of the best of, you know, paper. And this is going to be really good for painting. Uh, one of the other things that you guys can... These are just oil pastels. But here they have a really good series of colors that you could definitely play with, especially on paper. Uh, pretty much also has the basic colors. Oil pastels have a really good texture that is very thick. And you could even use like a, a Q-tip to even blend colors. And this is one of the best of the best. I've actually played with this before and it is really good. Professional uh, coloring is Prismacolors. Uh, this pack has, again, the three primaries. And it's this brand. Um... The 12 pack, and of course, as you could see, even in the picture, is almost the three primaries, except they put orange. So, prismas are really, really not very expensive, but they're really good for the artists that are beginning to do more advanced work, and also they're really good for blending. Uh, normally, in art stores, you can buy this almost anywhere, like Hobby Lobby. Um, Michaels or even to your nearest local craft store they're gonna have these and normally these run about more than 10 bucks so uh, another thing I have is this huge collection of Crayola pencils but if you do have them Crayolas have pretty much one of the three primaries and again you don't really need to buy the whole pack of 48 and you know this is gonna be really good to create something you know for great for blending and, uh, there's printer paper printer paper is you know best for practicing and you could even get it at anywhere even from your dad's desk or your parents desk printer paper is the best thing you can definitely do and i think you know with anything that we have that's the best steps to find the three primary colors so what you should do to create your own color wheel is to start ahead and go ahead and start with just a single sheet of paper. If you want to do it in your sketchbook, that's totally fine. 
So I'm going to do pretty much with just printer paper. And I'm going to probably create a wheel. I'm actually going to create, a, you know, you know, pen or pencil, whatever you guys like. All right. So I wrote a little circle and it says color wheel. And I'm going to take those, uh, these colors that I just took. Pick. And I'm going to pretty much get, of course, yellow, I say blue, and red. So here's what I would do. I would go ahead and take these three. And I so I created a color wheel. And so pretty much this is the closest that you could do. But at home, if you actually went through your color pencils, you could definitely get this color wheel by just creating kind of like a pie threes. So apparently this is yellow, blue, and red. And I'm going to go ahead and try even write their names of the color wheel. So, so these are the three primaries. And we want to go ahead and see if we can create the secondaries. Secondaries, again, are green, orange, and purple. So look at this color and we're going to try to see how we're going to create colors. So here's the best thing where I could do. If I can see and I can experiment how we're going to put these together is what if I put yellow and blue together? We're going to see how we can do that. So I'm going to see. So what are you going to do at home is what I would do is I would grab some blue. Say, for example, you want to create the green. Obviously, blue and yellow makes green. I'm going to, oops, wrong pencil. So let's say I want to get some blue, right? I'm going to color this a lot. I'm not going to be fancy. Remember, we're all going to create our own color wheel. Not too fancy. And now let's say I'm gonna make that green and I make it as pop as possible. Well, I'm gonna continue creating green. And remember, you're just creating that color on top. As you can see, I just created green. So why don't we try the next color wheel? So the next color wheel we're going to work on is creating yellow and red. So how are we going to use that? We're going to create some orange. Yellow. I want to go ahead and put that yellow on top. And I'm going to continue scratching and scratching and scratching. Not even scratching, just coloring. But we're not done yet. We forgot one more color. And that is blue and red. So what if I want to put blue and red together? Obviously, we're going to create another color wheel. So here's what I'm going to do. Take my blue pencil as usual. And I'm going to create just a very faint, you know, blue. Not too much, but just, you know, just enough. Grab my red color pencil. I'm going to put it on top and let's see how it goes with this purple. So here we go. And now we have a nice completed color wheel. Very simple, very easy to do. And it's also very, very, you know, helpful, especially if you're going to do an artwork or art piece, brown. Majority of the packs already have brown. And especially for this one, you know, majority of the time you're going to get black, brown. Let's say somebody stole it or say somebody broke it, or there is no more brown. So what can we do? Well, why don't we give it a try by creating brown by mixing all the colors together where we can create a nice, cool brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this middle part. And I'm actually gonna start with blue this time. And I'm gonna go ahead and just create this little dot here. Not too perfect, not too bad, but just, you know, a nice blue uh, dot. 
What if I want to add some red decks? And again, I want to add some uh, yellow. Let's take a look. It's actually turning brown already. So that's very interesting. So that's really cool. Another trick that I actually wanted to also teach was about, you know, experimenting what type of purples and what type of oranges and what type of greens you're going to see in your um, color pencil packet. So here's what you could do. So I'd say I pulled out the secondary. Secondary is obviously orange, purple, and green. And let's say, you know, you want to test it out and see why it doesn't match with our color wheel. So on the bottom of the left, you could actually practice this by making tiny little squares and just see the differences between just using the three primaries and the secondaries. So I'm gonna start with this supposedly orange that has been given to me through my packet. So, I'm pretty much creating a nice tiny little square that you could see and obviously it's almost close to matching here but not as 100% and I'm explain why but I'm gonna create the secondaries as of right now and I'm also gonna create some green down here I'm gonna continue uh, creating my green and as you can see there's the secondaries and I'm also going to put in the primaries first next to uh, pretty much the secondaries. I'm going to put them right here. I'm also going to create the purple. I mean the yellow. Basically here is a tiny little chart that you guys can do at home and how we're going to create the color wheels and pretty much how to create an experimentation. But normally it doesn't really 100% match with our color wheel that we created. So why? So why? Well, the main particular reason is because normally in a packet of color pencils, there is a lot of, you know, pigmentations that are trying to be very exact. And then they'd sell it and distribute it to those to buy it. But say you want to add more of this and more of that. Of what if I want to make this very beautiful purples and the triads, you know. Basically something like that. That's actually going to help you guys even more to create hues. Especially when you copy from the photo. So pretty much what you could do at home is you can actually practice creating um, your chart. So here's what I would do. Go ahead and... You know, create a little box, maybe on the upper left, wherever. Make it as big as possible if you want. I'm gonna create a box like this. I'm also gonna create maybe, you know, with the red under it. I'm gonna create a little chart down here. You know. So pretty much we already see the three primaries. And I want you to do is that I have a challenge for you guys. Maybe, let's see. Now let's see maybe if uh, you guys want to see if you can kind of match with these colors that we put on. So I'm going to probably put this on the bottom. And let's say I want to match the closest with the closest to these colors. So square, 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 square. So, and I'm also going to put some orange. Oh, pretty good. I'm also going to try to do the purple. This is purple. This is purple. So, there we go. And maybe something like this will help you guys. So, what I would suggest to do is at home, maybe you can do a little chart and see if you can match your guys' secondaries from the pencils that you guys have. Try to match it as much as you possibly can. And I think this is a great exercise for those who want to practice coloring and hues and coloring in different ways. So, definitely. Or, 
if this is a bit confusing, there's another way that you can actually do your own practice sheet. At the top of the paper, you're going to actually do kind of like a graph. So the way we're going to do how it is a graph is that I'm going to do the same thing, create squares, kind of like this. And also red. And why not get some purple blue? And mix these two together. And what I would do is I would go ahead and um, lay down the, I'll go ahead and lay down the red first if you were doing this at home. I would also do like, for example, um, you know, yellow when I would put it on top. And I will go ahead and see how it looks like in orange. Another practice you could definitely do is go ahead and even try to create that purple. So I will go ahead and put some blue. First. And then now we'll go ahead and make some red on top. And we are creating kind of like a purple. As you can see, it's very nice. Nice. What if I want to make green? Well, what if I want to take these two and put that green uh, right maybe next to here or right down here? I think it's better if we put it right over here so we don't get confused. So let's go ahead and put that blue, this tiny little square. And I want to go ahead and grab that yellow. I'm going to continue and as you can see, we created a cute little chart. This chart is going to help you guys to create some really cool uh, practice. And I think doing this every single day or even doing this once in a while, you're going to get to practice using the color wheel. You can also experiment by using many different browns and many different ways of series, which I can definitely show you guys. So, so for example, this uh, red I can put on. And then obviously you can continue going on by using the blue, you know, and then the yellow, you know. So pretty much like we're mixing the colors all together. And, you know, something like this is already kind of creating this brown, which is really cool. And that's kind of like the power of color pencils that you could definitely. So this is the end of the lesson. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Subscribe down below and I'll see you guys very soon and thank you for watching.